Today, I'm going to be making baked tacos. Believe it or not, I've never made baked tacos before. I've always made the kind where you just heat the stuff up on the stove and then you fill your shells uh, when the, the meat is ready uh, and the refried beans. This time, I'm actually baking them. So, this will be, it'll be interesting to, to see the different, uh, there's some different um, spices I'm going to use and some, uh, the texture and all that. I've actually never used these before. Uh, these are the Old El Paso stand and stuff shells. So, we're going to use 10 of those. I have some uh, taco sauce. I have some paste uh, chunky salsa. I have some taco seasoning, some refried beans. I have one pound of ground beef. I have some salt and pepper. This is a tablespoon of minced onion, and then we have a teaspoon of garlic powder. Um, the the, uh, the uh, salsa, I have a third of a cup in here. I poured that in here. Uh, you have a Mexican four cheese uh, style. Uh, blend. We have some tomato and some, I've bought some shredded lettuce. So the first thing we want to do is we want to fry our uh, ground beef and we just, you just want to cook this until it is uh, completely brown. So while our ground beef is cooking, um, I'm going to open these so we can get a look at them. They had like a family pack that had like 20. Yeah, 20, a 15, and a 10. Yes. So the, the, it's funny because this package of 10 was not in the aisle with the taco stuff. It was actually on an end cap. So these are just, these um, are just the regular ordinary flavor. They had like probably five different yeah, flavors. Ranch, I know ranch was one and like a hot and spicy. Yes. And... So they have a bunch to choose from. So, I'm going to... Oh, those are nice. Yes. I'm going to fill every one of these up. I'm using a cake pan to hold them up like this. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to fill every single one of these up like that. I also went ahead and I opened my can of refried beans. I drained the ground beef. You want to drain it really, really well because um, uh, you don't want a lot of grease. I'm going to use half of the refried beans in with my uh, ground beef mixture. I'm going to add the salsa in here. I'm also going to add my minced onion and garlic, and we're going to add our uh, taco seasoning pack. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper, not much, because your taco seasoning mix will have that. And then we're going to see how much liquid is in here. If we need some more liquid, then we're going to add um, the, the salsa. Yes, not the actual sauce, the salsa. This uh, paste chunky salsa, I'm going to add some more of that to it. You also want to uh, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And my oven is ready to go. So this looks really good. So, and it smells really nice and spicy. So once you get all that combined, now we're going to fill our taco shells. So now this is the most uh, time consuming part is you just want to fill up your shells. And uh, this is, it's gonna be thick but it's nice because it should um, it should stick nice to the bottom like you see from those refried beans. And the rest of the refried beans I put um, in another little pan on the stove and Kevin will eat those plain. And if he wanted to, we have plenty of cheese and he could add, um, he could add some cheese to the top and just have it as a side to his taco uh, with some cheese. So I'm going to fill these up and use all of our uh, ground beef. Okay, 
Now we're gonna add our Mexican cheese, four cheese. And the good thing about it is it's all in this pan. So if we spill any, which I'm sure we will, it's gonna get caught in the bottom of the pan. And you get that crunchy cheese that you can just eat. Oh, the crunchy cheese that falls on the pan? Yeah. So you can use as little or as much as you want. We like cheese, so I'm gonna use a lot of cheese. Good to me. And now you want to put these in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. I'll probably go the full 10 minutes and then we'll be back. So this is how the tacos look after 10 minutes. And I'm just gonna pull, to this, <laughs> pull this out of here like this. And they, I mean, they're a little bit hot, but not bad at all. And so for mine, uh, to prepare them, normally I would have to add the cheese now, but I don't uh, because we baked them. So I like to add uh, lettuce to mine. Uh, some people, I, you know, if I had thought about it, I probably would have, well, I know I would have bought banana peppers and I did not even yeah, think yeah, about you it. You could put those on when they were heating in the oven even. Yeah, banana peppers would have been awesome. Um, black olives. I like black olives. I know some of you don't, but I really like black olives. And we just buy the shredded lettuce it's already shredded used to we would uh would take the head of lettuce and and cut it uh but now we don't we just we just go for the well, shred we end up wasting a lot of it because it's so it's so much easier and then you can use either a chunky salsa i'll probably use some of each just to see uh which i like better because uh we have chunky salsa that looks like this it actually has chunks in it and that's the Pace brand. And then the Ortega is just gonna be smooth. And it looks like that. You know you can uh, put these in the microwave? Oh. Now, these say oven directions, it says 325 for six to seven minutes. I baked mine at 400 for 10 minutes exactly. But they had stuff in them too. But they have stuff in them. Um, you can microwave these and put them in the microwave for 45 seconds. I've never microwaved Do you somewhere. know that um, somebody posted a question the other day on Facebook? Do you eat your hard taco shells straight out of the box or do you toast them? They called it toasting them. I just say we them bake them in the oven. Um, because this, the person who asked the question, it's actually a friend of ours, um, and the person who asked the question said that she has always just eaten them straight out of the package. Um, well, you can. You know what's wrong with it. This is our first time trying these shells, though. These stand-up shells. Yeah. So we don't know how it's going to... And by the way, just because they're stand-up doesn't mean they won't fall over. Because they will. And I made a mess. Just to let you know. Mmm. They... Um, I put some sour cream on mine, too. So, I've heard that baking them really changes the whole um, texture and flavor and everything. It is the actual shell from like halfway down um, is very, very soft compared to what I'm used to. Yeah, I guess the meat in there, baking it with the meat in there, softened them up. Mm-hmm. Probably some of that grease in there. And everything. That's why you try to drain off as, as much as you can. Um, I didn't realize I'm eating the one with nothing on it, with no. <laughs> um, I wonder Sauce. if. I, yeah, I wonder if I'm gonna like the chunky better. Mm. I want to try that. The I didn't use chunky. I always use just the sauce. Okay. I like the chunky. Mm -hmm. Mine are all the same. Mm. I really like the... Um, what did it tell what you put on yours? Just um, the regular Ortega sauce, the taco seasoning uh, sauce. Yeah, that and just uh, lettuce, tomato, and um, some sour cream. Yeah, you use sour cream. I didn't put any sour cream on mine. I like that. 
some people like uh, like guacamole because they like that cool kind of texture or that cool flavor and texture. Um, I like sour cream for the same reason. I like that cool texture on top of a hot taco, which is really mm -hmm. nice. And it helps uh, balance out the spices. Now, I have to say, I've turned this jar upside down because it's almost gone. I really do like this paste salsa. It's delicious, but on the tacos, uh, my winner would be the Ortega. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that, and I like that it's, uh, I like the chunky, but I like that this is smooth. It, it, the flavor's better. I think the flavor just goes better with the- it's um, medium, okay. Yeah, I, I'm trying I, to read what it said on there. It's I always buy medium everything. Yeah. I, so it's not I, mild, it's in the middle. Right. But it's not too hot. And of course, I've got sour cream on mine, but I don't think it's too hot. Mm -hmm. So I would bake these. I would I would do this from now on, honestly, because I like... I normally get soft shells because mm -hmm. I don't... And Tammy's like, why do you always get soft shells? It's because I don't want to fool with bite into a taco that breaks and falls all over the place and you end up scooping it up with the broken shells. I don't like that. But this, they have a broken they, at These all. do not break because the, the meat and stuff in the bottom of them has softened it up enough to where you can actually bite into it without it breaking. Yeah, it doesn't time. break at all. No. Yeah, it got, it got, it's soft, but it's not greasy. So just as long as you drain your ground beef really well, um, what do you think about the, um, the mixture of the seasonings? Because hmm. I use, you have some on your, I know I got, um, <laughs> um, I used, um, uh, one pound of ground beef and i use that whole package of taco seasoning just like i always do but then adding the garlic and the minced onion it was kind of scary like is this going to be too much but it wasn't at no, all no i like the flavor of it. it's it's not too spicy it's not too hot no um, it's really nice to see it, i like them yeah it, it i think they're perfect so i would totally make these again well, and i, I thought, feel like i'm wearing them but... i think it's it was actually easier to put the cheese on before than to add it afterwards. Yeah, because it all falls off. Yeah. Well, and it's always so hot um, that you're just having to put the cheese in there, and mm -hmm. this these made it so much easier. Yeah, I like the, open open, the bigger opening on them. Yeah, I yeah, think I would, I'll buy these I would from buy now those. on. Yeah, you could even try the flavored ones. I could, yeah, because I bet the flavored ones are really mm -hmm. nice. That would add a lot yeah, to it. Because they have some like spicy ones. Oh yeah, like, yeah. yeah. They good. had some inter I think they even had one with a hint of lime or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you'll just have to let us know what you think. Do you do baked tacos or do you normally make the stuff and then add it after? You'll have to let us know which way you like it best. But I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.